Having this awning has made this so much easier. Normally I have to set the porch up. Um, and uh, that's like a million different poles and all that sort of stuff. And I get a bit annoyed with it. But um, having this 270 degree awning, you literally can just pop it out, drive in as close as you want, get it where you need it to be. And um, yeah, it is certainly a game changer for us. It definitely makes it so much easier. And it's good to have an extra bit of shade, really. That's for sure. So we've just got to the creek at the back of the um, Adele's Grove. So there's the Lawn Hill Creek here. And we've just found a nice little swimming hole. We're gonna have a bit of a dip. You guys stay close. Mac. How's this for a spot? Oh, mate, magic. Nice little hole here. So the creek is literally just up there. It's like, oh, it'll be easy 15, 20 meters wide. And then it says a sign that says, swim at your own risk. So we've taken this little bit here. You can see the bottom line sort of stuff. We're only freshies, but who knows? We'll kayak them with them this morning, so. We were canoeing. Canoeing, <laughs> same thing. Very different. They fight. Mark, quick! Thank you very much. The holder of the things. Yeah. Mate, this is so good. Come on. Right here, guys, we're gonna have a bit of a swim, chill out, and we'll catch you around the fire later on. So I've just gone and collected some wood, some sticks, and we're gonna go and start a fire. We're going to start a fire. Right? <laughs> you, you reckon? Man, it is hot. Look at me, I got so burnt this morning in the car, I didn't even realize. It's a canoe. A oh, canoe, sorry. Yeah. Mac Dog's been wet down for about the 15th millionth time today. Yeah. He loves it. So now we need a third water tank in the van just to wet him down. Just to wet him down. I reckon we need to fill the jerrys in the back of the ute for him. Wet yeah, him down with that is. water. Yeah, I want to buy one of them little, um, uh, those little shower things you screw the pump in and I don't know whether it's, you have to buy the jerry can as well, but mm. seen um, some people running around with them. They seem to be pretty cool. There's a little 12 volt pump on it. That's the go. Yeah. Right, oh well, fire's about to go up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had a little bit of a malfunction. I forgot to purchase beef stock to make dinner. <laughs> so we we're supposed to have like loaded spuds, which I'll show you guys in a few days or whatever, whenever we can cook it, whenever we can find beef stock. Um, so I went up to the little shop they have up here and they had no beef stock. So then I <laughs> panic bought <laughs> steak and sausages, but they're cryvacked and like so frozen, like frozen yeah. solid. There's no way they're going to defrost by the time that yeah. the tea even cook. It's like already after six o'clock, so we're just going to head up to the restaurant. <laughs> oh, it's so bad.
We have not That's like eaten out. dinner out since Ryan's birthday, and before that, like an actual meal out, I think, was up at the tip at the Cape. So we've been yeah. really trying to ease back on that sort of thing. And I don't know why I bought the meat at the thing. <laughs> I was like, Pay oh my for God. one of our meals. Literally, it was not cheap. Anyway, would not recommend. Right. But anyway, that's life. We've that at is. least got steak in the freezer cry back now. Literally. Just to go with all of our... We have food, but it's all frozen and we have no microwave. Like, we have a microwave, but we have yep. no power. Yeah, we could pull a Jenny out, but at the end of the day, we're, we're being lazy. We're not supposed to have a Jenny here. It's oh. only up in the campsites up that end, so we oh. would get in trouble too. Okay. So, anyway. Oh, good. That's life at the moment. That's our update. Um, yep. Hope it gives you guys a bit of a laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes me want to cry. Yeah. We'll anyway. probably see you in the morning. What are we doing in the morning? Go for a bit of a hike, I think. We're going to yeah. head back to the National Park. So Ryan's not much of a walker, so it'll be interesting to see how he goes. There's probably two walks that we want to do in the National Park. So we'll get up nice and early and hit those walks. Yep. Um, and then head off from here after yep. that. Get back and get hooked up and hit the road. Sounds heaps good. Righto, guys. That'll be it from us tonight. <laughs> Sorry, it's... <laughs> Didn't go to plan. Check out the fire. It actually can't. So good. Absolutely unreal. Awesome. Sun is setting. Mac dog. All right. Let's go get something to eat. <laughs> Morning, guys. We are about to head into Lawn Hill National Park again. This time we're going to do it by a foot. Yeah. Rather than water. <laughs> yeah. See what we come up with. Good. <laughs> Definitely keeps the adventure, that's for sure. <laughs> so yesterday we canoed from here all the way down here, all the way, then we got out of our canoe, as you guys saw, and then we canoed all the way up here. Yes. And today, first off, we're going to walk down to where we started to canoe yesterday, then through here, across, apparently this bridge is gone. Um, some people yesterday fell into the rapids there, so we'll see how we go. Um, so we cross there, and then we're going to go this island stack walk, so it goes, apparently it's quite steep. Yeah. Two hours or something, didn't you say? Two hours, apparently, yeah. Oh, Three that's... point something k's. Just trying to get it done in an hour. Before this heat sets Where's in. Where's the stopwatch? <laughs> Once again, we're supposed to be up early, and we did not do that at all. It's because Ryan sets 20 alarms and then snoozes every single one of them. Yeah. Very helpful. Mm-hmm. Yes. Anyway, anyway got to get back into the work routine, getting up early. Why are you going back to work? This is work, mate. I ain't oh. going back to work. I want to be a full-time blogger. Look at all the firewood. I mean, you're not allowed to firewood here. But no, you cannot. Look at it. Stop, stop filming. So we had to come a different way into here to get across the rapids um, because the bridge is gone. We didn't realise, but it has a sign there to say, take the Constance track. So we had now decided to go across to cross the rapids. So we'll see how we go. You. You. <laughs> Righto guys, we're going to get across this body of water. There's about three different tracks, so let's see how we go. I'm not sure they're tracks. It's gonna be a long two hours with soft feet, though. It's deep there, eh? Yeah. Yep. 
seasoned hikers are probably like, what are you doing? You're supposed to take your shoes off for that. <laughs> yeah, we should have. But how do you know what, like... How good is this? So we just found another little gorge. Little gorge. I don't know if they I all connect it's up. It looks like it kind of ponds there. But I don't know if it does connect up and it kind of goes must split off two ways. Yeah, it must, eh? So this is just all fill full wow. at the moment. It doesn't look like it's running, but No. Pretty cool. In the wet it might it might all yeah, connect. Look at that, it's a long way down. I wouldn't go too much further. You're on the rock that's got a big crack in it. I am too. <laughs> I might just go this way. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. So they reckon, I think the national or the park is about a hundred million years old. Wow. So I'm assuming the gorges. It are is very deep, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's, a, it's probably this is so a much pretty deeper big again. Gorge. It's a pretty wide gorge, yeah. Yeah. You wonder how deep the water is. Yeah, I don't know. It's for sure. Pretty cool, but. I don't might keep motoring to the other side and see if there's a look out over the plane, I think. Where are we at? We're at the lower gorge. So there's We'd, a fair bit of water still here. We just did the daydreamer, but you're not allowed to video, so. Right here guys, we have fully packed up at Adele's Grove. We were going to go for a swim once we got back from Lawn Hill, but we it's already getting pretty late, yeah. so we thought we better hit the road. Um, we ended up doing three of the walks at Lawn Hill, so we did the island stack, which was awesome. Absolutely loved that. Yeah. That was really, really good. Abs worth, the, worth the hike up the sandstone hill. Yeah. Um, we then did the dog, day dog daydreaming or... I think it was called, yeah. which is the Aboriginal art one. We couldn't film any of that. Yeah, you can't film any. Can't of film, you can't take photos, so that's fine. And then we did the lower gorge, and that kind of all ends up being in one. Um, then went back across the rapids, went back to Adele's, packed up, had a little bit of lunch, and um, yeah, now we're hitting the road. And I think we're gonna head into Gregory and get some supplies. We yeah. need to empty the toilet. There was no dump point at Adele's. Yeah. There was somewhere to, uh, there was, a long way out. yeah, there's somewhere you can fill your tanks at Adele's, but we're gonna do it while we're in Gregory. I think Ryan might do that while I head into the shops, cause I might be a little bit in the shops. Yeah. Um, 
yeah I don't know if I told you guys earlier when you pay for your campsite your 22 per adult per night there's also $70 deposit that you need to put down for the key tag you get to get in and out of the gate and if you leave before the office opens in the morning which is 8 a.m then you don't get your amount refunded your $70 yeah. but let them know at the counter that that's what's happening when they go to give you the key card or drop it in earlier the afternoon before you're leaving depending how many days you're staying and they'll give you a code for the gate instead so you don't have to um lose your 70 dollars yep. but yeah i just went in there and got it refunded and no worries at all it was all fine sweet <laughs> Where the bloody hell are you? Where the bloody hell are you, mate? We're on the Granary River. We are living the dream. Matt is not. How good is this for a spot? We're down at the uh, Gregory River. Rapids up here. Mac Dog's enjoying himself. Over where I don't know if you can see Emma over there. She's got on the rope swing. This is absolutely unreal, mate. Absolutely awesome. That's it for this one guys we didn't get too many supplies in Gregory um, but we definitely filled the water tanks emptied the loo and yeah. um, got some fuel and some beer yeah. we forgot to film much in Gregory but we hope yeah. you've enjoyed the river how, how beautiful good is the Gregory river, mate? absolutely oh absolutely beautiful you but yeah in there easy absolutely unreal like yeah really awesome. nice spot um, but yeah Lawn Hill also so good loves Lawn Hill. Canoeing yep. through it was a major highlight. Yep. Um, the Island Stack Walk was definitely our favourite walk or my favourite walk. Definitely, yeah. For sure. Yeah, the but yeah. The BT and the van held up well on the corrugates. Yeah, all the of, dirt roads. A bit of dirt, rough corrugated roads, so I was pretty impressed with the van and the car, so I was pretty happy. Yeah, but yeah, we hope sure. you guys enjoyed this one and we hope to see you in the next. Alright guys, like, subscribe, you know what you're doing.